What is up everybody? Welcome to the vlog. Uh, today is Thursday the 23rd. Uh, as you can tell, I'm going down to Maria's to get a lift in this morning. Um, the usual morning of frantically looking for my keys um, and my wallet because I lose them every single day. But we're on our way now. Um, Again, this is the second part of the new lift, so I'll show you guys that. So I'll see you guys when I get there. So just finished the warm up. Now getting on to the lift. This meat is kind of giving me like a kick in the pants. Um, I think I've just been going through the motions lately, so I need to pick up my game. Um, try to get better every day. I think I've just been kind of doing the workouts, doing the lifts, but haven't really been like pushing myself super, super hard. Um, just like stuff with the house and like work, it's just been super busy. So I just need to remember that this is like my job. So I need to put 110% into it. So, starts today. So in this phase, we have a hip drive. That's like my most favorite exercise. Hip drive and cleans are definitely my most favorite exercises. So I have both of them in this phase, so I'm really liking it. Um, yeah, hip drive just like really like forces you to use your glutes. <clears throat> it just feels really strong and like that's something that I feel like could make a huge improvement. Uh, just being able to like drive through your hip. So happy it's in here. On that one just uh, trying to like work on like obviously shoulder mobility but actually being able to use that shoulder mobility not just like getting into that position and not being able to flex anything so just like holding it and holding it so Okay, so I'm all done at Marie's now. Uh, now on to going to Piero's to pick up some pizza because uh, it's my mom's last day. She's retiring, she's done. So, good for her. Gonna go drop off the pizza at work. So my mom's been a nurse for like 35 to 40 years. She's worked at Victoria Hospital. So, if anybody deserves to retire, it's, it's her. And uh, she can spend like, all the time she wants up at her cottage now and just sit back and relax. I feel like she's gonna be at a lot more of my track meets, but that's good. She deserves it, so congrats mom. I know you're watching this right now. So, whoop whoop. On a much more awful note, I have to run a 600 today, at purple and white. It's not that I don't like running long distances, it's just the fact that I've never run a 600 before, and 
I don't really know the pace or anything. It's pretty much just a 400 meter sprint and then try to hold on for the last 200. Uh, but I'm running it with like pretty good uh, hep guys and we're running it with like the 600 meter group. So I don't know, I don't know. It's gonna be hard, but I wanna run like below 130 and that's like my goal for the meet is to run 130 or below. So I guess we'll see very shortly if I can do that. But it will set up like a good like 1K time of just trying to like push through the pain and stuff, so. It is about uh, 3.30 now. Um, just getting ready to go to the track to run the dreaded 600. Wow, wow. So, I'm uh, just getting like water in and stuff like that. I'm um, just getting prepared and then we're gonna head out to the track and I will see you guys there. I'm like super nervous to run this. I don't know, I think this is like the definition of overthinking something because like I've run 600s before in practices. Obviously it's not the same, but like I've done it before. I think I'm just like overthinking it and making it into something that it's not. So we're back at the house now. Got some dinner in to me. Um, just kind of recovering from the six. Um, it actually went surprisingly well. Um, I ran a lot better than I thought I was going to. Uh, the first 200 felt really good, really easy, but came through um, 400 and about 57. So that's right around what Vicky wanted. And then just try to like, hold on and then try to kick at the end with 100 to go and it kind of worked out. Um, I was in a lot better position than I usually am finishing off like a longer run. I kind of felt like I was actually on my toes and could actually run to the line. It was a good run. Um, <clears throat> I think the 600 was actually the highlight of this kind of like meat, this, the purple and white meat. Uh, just because I wasn't too happy with my speed, um, I wasn't too happy with my throws, but I know my speed endurance is kind of there, so that's going to really help my 400, which is one of the bigger events that I'm lacking in, so happy with it. Um, ran 129.01, so in my head I wanted to run like 130, 135, so to finish strong and run a 129 I think is pretty good for my size and what I can run in the 400 and what I can run in the 15 and 1K. And I think my first HEP is gonna be at York, um, February, the start of February at York. That's where the Western crew's going. So I'm gonna go with them and do my first HEP, hopefully put up a really big score. Um, I think by that time, I'll have a lot more explosiveness in me and like the technical things will be really good. So looking forward to that. So that's something to build on. Um, so thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, 
comment if you have a question, like to reply to them. And uh, yeah, bye.